Hi and welcome to the Adam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohammad Adam with another screencast and this might be the smallest screencast that I will do because this is about the page-based navigation for your Apple Watch app. And page-based navigation is one of the styles of the navigation that you can implement for your watch applications. The other style is hierarchical based which is basically using a UI table view. And if you have not seen that video, that screencast, I highly recommend that you check that screencast about UI table view because UI table view is an important component of creating watch apps. All right, so let's first go ahead and run this. Uh, you, if I run this, you will see that nothing really happens. And the reason is because I haven't configured the hardware. So I'm gonna to go to hardware, external displays, and I can select any one of the Apple Watch that I want. I'm gonna select Apple Watch 42 inch, drag it over here, and that's it. Let's go ahead and run it again. Pop this one out, and here we go. So this is our Apple Watch app. It doesn't really display anything because there is nothing on the screen right now, as you can see. So let's go ahead, and first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to change the background color, all right? so that we will have an idea of what we're talking about or which page we are on. Um, you can drag it over here. You can say, I don't know, Houston. Let's just say that we are doing some sort of a weather application. Okay. And the high temperature is, uh, I don't know, um, 70. All right. I'm going to drag another label over here. Uh, you can say the low temperature is, uh, I don't know, 50 Fahrenheit, things like that, all right? And if we want to add another controller, basically that's all you need to do. You need to just drag it over here. Uh, let's go ahead and change the color. All right, here we go. And I wonder if I can copy these and paste it over here. Oh, I can. All right, and let's just say this is Austin. Uh, high temperature, whatever, doesn't really matter, 60, and low temperature, let's just say 40. All right, let's go ahead and add one more. And of course, again, go ahead and change the color. Now, the reason we're changing the color, of course, is that so that we can differentiate between uh, when, once, once you're navigating. All right, let's go ahead and copy this, this, and this and paste it over here and instead of austin we can say dallas and high temperature you can change it to so whatever you can do all right let's not do that uh it's way too much all right here we go all right so now if you want to go ahead and create a page page based navigation all you need to do is to control click from one to another and that's literally, that's it. You're done. That's all you need to do. So if I run it right now, here we go. So this is Houston. And you can see that the page-based navigation, uh, those small circles, uh, page in, uh, pagination circles, I don't know what they're really called, uh, the pager, so they appear and you can go ahead and navigate them. And that's all you need to do. So that's how easy it is to implement a page-based navigation on your on your watch. And I think the weather app will be a prime candidate for that because you can have like different, maybe you have five or six cities that you keep track of. And uh, just like the iPhone app, you can, uh, you, can you, you can just go ahead and swipe them through and see different weathers in different cities. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you, you just saw, I mean, it's very simple. All you need to do is to control drag from one view controller to the other view controller and you are done. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more.